it's Mojo Cana 1000 with another makeup y tutorial thing. Excuse my weird hair, I'm waiting for it to really curl. Um, I'm just gonna try something out today. I haven't really done it yet, so you're gonna get the whole fail experience. Um, I'm getting True Blend and I'm ivory because I'm really, really pale. So just give a little bit like that much it does not take a lot at all and put it dark under eye circles and on here to me it acts like some sort of primer it really makes makeup stick and I don't know why it'll always blend into your skin that's why I like it so much it's very nice Okay, when that's done, you can get little dots and use it as concealer wherever you want to, wherever you have redness, uneven skin tone. I've got freckles all over my face, so it's pretty hard to cover those. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to cover up the redness. Put a little bit on my nose and up here. Alright. Now I'm going to use Maybelline Mem Mineral Power. It's just another ivory white foundation and use the lid so I don't want to hold that. Get a fluffy brush and just put it everywhere you applied the other makeup. It'll set the cream makeup so it won't come off during the day. Alright. Let me try something funky. I'm gonna do red. It's pretty good for holidays, I guess. Because you know what's coming up. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, all that other stuff. So let's get this orangey color first and put it on the lid. That'll be your light red color. I'm using blush, really, for that color. It doesn't really matter, because it'll stick on there anyway. Put it all over the lid. It turns out looking orangey, orangey pink almost, like it would on your face if you had put it on. But, um, that's desired, so do it. And then you get the really red, really, really, really red color, like this right here. Get it, put it on the same brush, doesn't really matter. Put it in your crease. And wing it out. Put it down at the crease at the bottom at your V right here. And wing it out. And you can blend it. Hold on. There's gotta be a brush in here for that somewhere. I think I found it. I'm just using my hip brush. It's not the best brush in the world, but it works. High intensity pigments. And just blend out harsh edges up towards the brow bone. You want to make them as even as possible, though. Now 
I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to get this really light pink color right here. Put it up here on the highlight of your brow bone. And also in the corner. So it highlights your eyes. And that's all I'm doing from that. You could also use red eyeliner and do the very corner. Don't go all the way in though. It just gives it higher intensity. And I'm going to try and find my black eyeliner. If I can. If I can't, I'll just use. I'm just going to use my hip perky again and get the black out and my angle brush. Put it on and just do black, like right there. It ends up not looking so intense black, and then get the bottom here, and go halfway, bottom, halfway. I'm going to use, um, you can either use this hard candy blue mascara, which is Kind of funky, but um, I only use it when it's like snowing because then it adds this awesome cold winter look. And I'm going to use Telescopic Explosion Mascara. It's waterproof and it has this neat little uh, application wand that is very tiny and you can get every single lash in it. Apply. You can do your bottom lashes too, but I'm not going to do that today. There, and it adds a bunch of volume to it. Get your curlers. Curl them up. Get your um, lash separator. And separate them even even farther. And um, the other side is just like um, brow groomer. And I'm gonna tame mine a little bit into a certain kind of shape that I want. And I'm gonna use my blushing glow again. Get the same filthy brush I used for the mineral power. And put it on my cheeks. You can smile if you want. It helps bring your cheekbones out. And yeah. Add some lip gloss, I guess. Since your eyes are very powerful and poppy, don't put a whole lot on there. And don't put any wild colors or anything because it'll distract from your focal point of your eyes, which is what you want. So, um, I hope you had a good time watching this and it helped you with your holidayness. And I'll see you later. Bye.